Today, we're going to replace the front disc brakes on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jack the car up. Underneath the van in the front, there is a jack point right here. So we're going to go ahead and lift the jack right on there. Please always secure your work and do some jack stands. Alright, next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the rims using a 7 8 Alright, next step is to remove these 14 millimeter screws from the top and from the bottom. That way we can release the brake caliber and just replace these brakes. Brand spanking you. But these rotors are acting a little funny. That's why we're gonna replace them. Uh, took them to my brother. He works at Jiffy Loop and he said that there's hot spots on it. So we're just gonna replace them with the I did want to get drilled and slaughtered, but time is short. Uh, we got a trip to LA pretty soon for my cousin uh, Elizabeth's wedding. And so we're going to be down there this weekend and we're going to go to Riverside and we're going to go to Legoland and San Diego. So I got to make sure these are perfectly perfect for the family. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is, like I said, remove these 14 millimeter screws to release the brake caliper. Next thing we're going to do is remove the brake caliper bracket. And that one's going to take 19 millimeters right back here. This one. And another one back here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and break these loose. 14. And drive them out. Alright, I went ahead and broke them loose. If you can't, you might need to use a crescent or I think it's a 14 millimeter. Just stick it back here. Grab on. And the back the back one. Now that I have them both loose, I'm gonna go ahead and use my dried already but anyways uh now we're gonna remove this bracket like i said there's the 19 millimeters so we're gonna go ahead and break those loose and get this bracket off all 
Mario X Wins the show. I'm breaking these loose real quick. For the 19. So now, 